What's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to talk about the new flutter release which is 1.17 in the stable channel and the last release was 1.12 and it's been some time so let's talk about uh, 1.17 and all the major improvements which has happened and i have like written all of them down here and i'm just gonna talk about them and uh, give you the idea about these improvements so let's start So the first thing which I just want to talk about is version styling. So they have changed the version styling a little bit and uh, the thing was like uh, when you are switching the channels let's say from flutter dev to flutter uh, from flutter stable to let's say uh, dev or beta or master then the like the numbers were kind of confusing sometimes it was 1.17 somewhere it's 1.18 so now they have introduced a pre tag which are caught with a corresponding version let's say next version would be 1.18 then it will have a pre tag and then the corresponding version so this is how you will see that you know how the increment thing is happening and then um, it will go to dev and then from dev to beta and from beta to stable as usual and uh, this is really a welcome change and uh, it will definitely help for developers to understand that uh, um, when they can expect probably the next update the second thing which i'm gonna talk about is uh, what they are claiming is that they have closed uh, 6400 kind of like issues and that's a really a good number especially in time span of around six months so that is definitely good because um, and, and these issues are not something which is always bugs but it can be some features or uh, some like features or request or uh, documentation related stuff but yes everyone like even me uh, everyone wants uh, the repository to have a minimum number of issues or no issues so yeah this this really a good sign that uh, they are working in a great direction even in this uh, like situation which is of uh, coronavirus okay the third thing which i just want to talk about is uh, a really good thing which is metal support for ios applications so metal is nothing but uh, just a graphics api and uh, native ios application have been using it after i guess from ios 13 uh, but flutter supports so you know uh, versions ios versions which is uh, more than 8.0 so it's it's like a long race and uh, um i know like uh, metal support is almost uh, with every device but uh, there can be few devices let's say iphone 5c if someone might be using it so it it will use the old open gl api but uh, the new applications which you will build with flutter and uh, if, if someone has a good uh, hardware device which is probably iphone 6 7 8 9 10 whatever so it will use uh, metal api in that case and uh, they are also saying that it will uh, improve the performance by 50 percent in that case and also this one thing which i definitely want is that metal support for simulator so if you know that i mostly in every video there that i use simulators a lot so simulator does not use metal api as of now but i think they are working on it and that can be really a good thing next thing which i want to talk about is dart 2.8 so dart team just introduced uh, 2.8 and um, what they are saying that they are working on the null safety feature which is still not complete but a preview of it is available uh, there's a link of the preview in my um, like description of this uh, youtube uh, video and uh, you can check it out and you can try what does they mean by null safety and what preview is available apart from that uh, pub has now crossed more than like 10,000 packages so they have improved few things with pub um, they have imp uh, improved the visibility of it uh, and uh, the recommendation thing so a lot of things they have worked on the tooling side especially uh, when uh, as a developer when you're developing then they have improved uh, pub get so pub get is now taking even less time to fetch the, all the packages or the versions and then uh, they have introduced something which is called pub outdated which is kind of really something which i was looking for um like it's kind of uh, i personally feel it's inspired from npm again but uh, it's something which can be really really useful which will give you that if someone like uh, let's say if you are using many repositories or like plugins or packages and it's if it's outdated or you should update it then there was no such way to find out and now you can just uh, write pub outdated and you will get uh, what like kind of um, new versions which are available for those packages so that's definitely a good addition uh, next thing is that uh, they have they are saying that they have like improved animations of so the apps are like 20 to 30 percent more faster 
and that's a good thing and uh, especially they are talking about flutter gallery here where they are saying that um, earlier it was used to be 9.6 mb now it's 8.1 mb which is really a good uh, thing which like uh, every app if if there will be this kind of uh, reduction in the app size then definitely it's a welcome change so yes uh, next is flutter material widgets um so yeah it's it's something good so material widgets there are a couple of material material widgets which they have announced like one is navigation rail so if you are someone who is using navigation for like um, mobile it's it can be different for desktop it can be different so yes navigation rail is a really cool widget you can check it out and uh, it, it it helps you in uh, making kind of responsive apps for all the platforms so that's uh, that's definitely a cool widget second they have like worked uh, on the redesigning of material date picker widget and uh, it looks much better and uh, it, it's it definitely something which you can check it out and uh, then uh, they have like worked on some text overflow issues as well as uh, they have like improved the performance of uh, like you know if you have large images and uh, if you do scrolling there were some issues so they have fixed that as well uh, the next thing which is I don't know how many of you know but there is an animations package uh, which is being in from since some time on the pub.dev so you can check it out so this animations uh, cover a lot of things let's say there is a uh, you can do share transition so basically this animation pa package covers all the motion animations uh, so um, you have like a container transformation you have shared access transformation and you have fair transition um, and fade uh, kind of animation so you can check it out it's definitely a really cool uh, package which you can use for animations the next update is that uh, there is new support for material text theming so yes i have been using like see myself uh, uh, like i have been using uh, dev channel and master channel most of the time so my projects are already based on this new material text theming where basically they have changed some names to be honest uh, and they have introduced some other uh, things which uh, which is a part of material design so now you have like this headline um, headline one headline two headline six something like that body text uh, is replaced with body one body two and all the previous names are deprecated for now so you can like change it any day you want but uh, yeah that that is deprecated um, then moving ahead uh, Google fonts which is another package by uh, flutter team is now like uh, 1.0 of that uh, package is released so yeah it's, it's, it's in a very stable mode now and uh, yeah that's about it I mean there's nothing much I can talk about the next thing is that uh, they have worked on accessibility and uh, internationalization so yeah that's something which is definitely accessibility is something which uh, many developers are building application uh, for supporting that and um, you can definitely check uh, all these things like uh, in terms of text input uh, widgets and uh, scrolling things um, there are a lot of changes there and uh, there were some issues with the some of the like samsung keyboards even i faced that um, with some of the languages so that has also been fixed here and the next thing is really cool and that is uh, like related to networking tool which is being uh, used now in dev tools so dev tools has this new tab which is networking which can help you in uh, checking all the network request which is happening and you can like uh, enable that uh, manually as well like if you want to monitor it otherwise uh, um, there is already a tab which you can use so this is pretty cool um, it can help you like I was doing it using some third-party packages but now you can directly like uh, uh, take the like um, this dev tool and uh, you can play with it the next thing is fast start I have already talked about it many times uh, also like I have been as I said experimenting with all of these things since some time now and uh, fast start is something like uh, they 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 have uh, done this uh, um, kind of uh, algo where it just uses a normal empty android app or it just loads uh, you know all your plugins uh, code and not not uh, the dart code or assets and uh, what happens is that uh, it it will not uh, require to rebuild again and again and uh, because dart code for run for like uh, updating the dart code you don't require rebuilding the application that's where hot reload and hot restart come so once you, they load uh, that empty application then they can like you know load all the dart code and asset 
and it will give you some kind of fast experience so if you need it like if you have a slow device android device then you can try it out and if you like if everything is working fine for you then it's it's, it's okay uh, the other thing is android x so earlier by default they were giving you application based on android x but now it's it's uh, it's the only thing which is now left so if you are not using android x yet they are basically saying that you should definitely upgrade right now um because for future in future um, they, this will not work right without android x and uh, another update is that hot reload they have worked on analyzer and fix some bugs and hot reload is now much better than uh, there, there were some issues with hot reload and uh, yeah that has been fixed uh, last thing is that they have worked on dev plugins so basically if you are using plugins and there is dev channel for plugins as well so you can use that and you can play with that and uh, apart from that uh, there is like uh, you, like when you uh, are having some issue in your flutter application then there is a link in the console where you can just click on it and it will create an issue for you on github so that's also kind of really useful for the team as well for you as well and it will get fixed as soon as possible so these are some of the things which happened in this release there are other bug fixes and a lot of things but i just wanted to give you some idea on what has actually happened and apart from this uh, there is uh, like a lot of work which has been done on the webs web part of flutter like flutter web and you can definitely check it out um, and it's 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 still in beta and there are a lot of uh, improvements which are being done on that like um, they are supporting uh, now many things like many packages also supporting web and even some of them supports mac os which is still in dev not in beta so yeah that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then press the like button subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber to get further updates and also press the bell icon to get uh, future updates with the uh, like as soon as possible so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care and keep fluttering